here's how to integrate the Billsby checkout with your Mozilla website. To do this, you'll need to have configured your first product, plan and cycle in Billsby and chosen your brand settings. You'll also need at least the Mozilla Premium package as the ability to insert custom code in your website's header isn't included on the free plan. Let's get started. In Billsby, navigate to Settings Embed Codes. We're just going to use the basic embed code today for Billsby Checkout, but the steps for all of the other embed codes are pretty much the same. First, we want to insert this header code into our website. It's what loads in the Billsby Checkout so that customers can click the subscribe button and then buy subscriptions on your website. It also loads in all of our account management functionality so that you can use that later on. Copy the code using the copy button, then in your Mozilla website builder, choose settings and then code. We're going to paste the code into the second box marked additional HTML code for head section and then press save changes. Second, we want to insert a subscribe link so that our customers can subscribe. Rather than just copying and pasting the code from Billsby, let's use the Mozilla button maker to create an attractive subscribe button and then modify it so it opens the Billsby checkout. First, find the section of your website where you want to put the button and then in the Mozilla editor, choose add and then insert button. Change the text on the button. I've put subscribe and use the style editor to resize the button or the text within it if you'd like. Then, click anywhere else in the section and enter code editing view. Notice that the button currently says href equals quotation marks with a hash in it. Go to the Billsby control panel. We need it to say href equals quotation mark javascript colon void open bracket zero close brackets quotation mark instead. And we need data dash billsby dash type equals quotation marks checkout. This is what invokes the Billsby checkout. So let's copy just that bit of code and then returning to Mozilla, replace the href section that already exists with our new code and press the green apply button. We're all done. However, when you preview your website, it'll look like the subscribe button we've made doesn't work. Don't worry, this is normal. Log out, go to your website again and press subscribe. The button now works as expected. That's how to embed Billsby Checkout into your Mozilla website. For more help and support, don't hesitate to reach out to the team.